Hello, you're watching the Fashion Box on Galaxy TV. My name is Fifi and today I'm on set with this young lady, a student from Chambogo University. She's not all about slaying but trying to make ends meet for her best. Let me introduce her to you guys. Hello. Hello. What's your name? I'm Kisangela uh, from Chambogo University. I'm actually in my third year and I do crocheting and tailoring which started as a side business. When did you start that? Uh, I started actually around my second year, first semester. Yeah, I started by making bikinis from which, okay, like I started as something, like I started like making things for fun just because I knew how to crush it. So I would make and then I was like, oh, I can make a bikini. So my friends decided to try them out where well, then people started making orders. So that's where I started from. Do you study crocheting at school or? Uh, not really, we don't study crocheting at school. Which course are you doing? I'm doing industrial art and design. How did you come to learn all this? Just like you're a young girl, I don't think you have been doing this for, for years. Who inspired you to start this? Uh, I think I inspired myself. Yeah. But we don't do this at school and I think I've always had a skill of crocheting because it's usually used for making table mats, you know, like the table mats, then the seat covers and stuff. So yeah, I've always known how to do it, I think since my primary. Do you have people at home that do this or? Mm, I actually also don't know how I learned it. But uh, I recently found out that my mom used to crochet. But then she used to crochet before I was born. And by the time I was born, she didn't do crocheting like anymore. So, but in my primary, we had like art projects. So whites would come in and train people how to do crocheting and paper flowers. Whereby they started like from P5 and P4 and by that time I was in the class lower. So by the time we were going to get in P5, they were leaving because they were around like four, two years or one year, something like that. So I would sneak in and learn from those guys when they're doing. I actually never used to use a metallic hook when I was learning. I used to get a broomstick, sharpen it and use it to do, yeah, to do the crochet. So are you planning to do this after school or you're planning to do the things you're studying at school? You told me you do industrial art, right? Yeah, I do industrial art and I major in fabric decoration and ceramics. I make flower vases as well, pots and stuff. But then I have passion for this. I actually didn't ever think of, okay, like one day that I'll have it as a small business of mine. Because when I started out, it was like about making things for me and my friends to go out swimming, maybe to enjoy. So, but then when people started ordering, so I started considering it. And then I got people who influenced me, they were like, this is a good thing, blah, blah, blah. Then I was like, okay, then I should keep it up. So the more I did it, the more they helped me in pricing, uh, getting clients, trying out different things. I actually have really bad work the ones I started with actually on my page but then uh, sometimes I was going to uh, to ask for like to apply for internship in some area and one of the trainers saw me doing crocheting then they were like how do you do this I was like I, I just do because you know I was trying to create the shapes of the books and then they were like have you ever considered trying to learn from YouTube so I think much of the growth in my work is from YouTube and other skills I have like in crocheting. How long does it take you? Uh, it's according to the uh, to the designs involved in the crocheting. So like if it's a bit complicated or oh, it needs a lot of calculating and stuff, it may take long. But if uh, if I don't if I'm not busy, like if I only have to sit down and crochet, I can do an outfit of shorts and a top in a day. But I can do those like two of them and then swimsuits I think I can take like three hours. How do you make this like trying because I see it looks kind of like a flower. How do you really try to rotate this and it comes out in this kind of fashion? Is it a jumpsuit it what? It's a romper actually and uh, this, this design here is like known as ruffle. Like I repeat, like a stitch in 
into a loop like maybe three or two times to make it like more fixed so it will create this house and start making the ruffles these these like this uh when i'm making this i'm making the 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 stitches horizontal so th these really don't know how to explain that but then this is or like on the internet when you go and search about this kind of of stitching or crocheting it's known as a mesh a mesh crochet yeah so like i i use just introduce it just like in the middle just to create some space in here and more design when is one supposed to put on this when uh when i when is one supposed to dress like this ah uh, when is supposed to dress like this why but uh, there are some that I make that are a little bit decent. You can go out with them if it's not too indecent. Then you can wear it to club because I personally have done that. Yeah, I make some shorts and little short tops, yeah, crop tops that you can wear while you're going to the beach. Plus, then the swimsuit that you can wear while you're going to swim. Okay, so what are some of the feedbacks you get usually from your design? Uh, the feedback from the different people yeah people usually ask me if they don't soak in water like if they're not heavy uh, I've worn them yeah, and gone for swimming but th they're not that heavy when you're in water and when when you go into water most times the, the color becomes thicker so when you if you want to get a good peak of it before it you, you so maybe take it before you go into the water but then they're comfortable the, uh, people usually ask me if they're not if, if they're itchy uh sweaters don't itch this is yarn it's no more thread i use so they don't itch they're really comfortable uh, where do you see yourself in five years from now uh, as a big dreamer yeah i see myself having yeah a really famous brand not only with crocheting because i also do tailoring yeah i make trail dresses fuzzy dresses and casual dresses so i see myself being bigger more famous yeah and having more clients and being more creative because it's all about creativity you introduce into the industry so is there any any fashion designer in the industry like you look up to yes actually that and i'll answer while smiling it's it's fatuma asha i really admire her work yeah if you would uh, get a chance of talking to her what would be the first thing you would ask her ah uh, uh, the first thing i would ask her is can i work with you oh can i watch you working yeah because i would really want to learn from her how do you measure this to know that someone says is fitting how do you measure like to know if the boobs are fitting yeah for for the small people i usually use i i use my small finger that's for starting because it's from the middle here that you start building it up so i usually use a middle so if if they're big then i i get i measure my longer finger and then when when i'm making the rows i make more if you, if your boobs are bigger i make more rows and then if they're smaller I'm the, the maximum is usually five this i use it to measure the waist and then the bust to know how how much you need to tie back like when you tie back and the waist are hips and then i also use it for tailoring because i tailored the top i'm wearing yeah so i also use it to make to take measurements of ta for tailoring how much did it cost you to start all this uh, i wouldn't say it costed me much because i was actually with a friend in in my course we do weaving which is of making uh carpets uh skulls and doormats so she was doing weaving and she wasn't choosing the thread so she was getting rid of it as like me with a thread then i started crocheting so that's when i made my first beginning actually and currently how much does it cost you to to finish up something uh it's according to how big it is so that depends uh, like the size of the person or the size of the design or the materials involved depend on the size and how much big you want you want it to be or 
how much details do you want it to have so that's how much it takes so the more that the designs on the dress the more that is the, the the what the material involved in in working what's the most expensive dress you've made so far uh, the most expensive dress was a silver and silver dress yeah it had a cover-up and a small a tiny screen dress inside yeah it was about 250 because each meter of the material was 30,000 each meter yeah and the person was a bit uh, plus size so yeah that's I think that's the most expensive what do you use the money for from knitting uh, the money I get from this this business okay this activity is to fund some of my facilities like at school because I do art and we have to purchase you have to purchase clay now and then you have to buy paint that you have to use canvas you have to pay for firing a lot of things like at school so so that I don't bother my friends so I make sure I work so that money I get from here is what I used to invest like in my school stuff what are some of the things you've done apart from this do you want to redo this or you have some other because you're talking about tailoring and I'm seeing this you're using I make birthday dresses uh, tops actually uh, I made the top I'm wearing and with me I have a dress a trail dress that I made through tailoring uh, Explain my look. Okay, your dress is a silhouette dress with a trail. Yeah, and it's a mix of stretching material, stretching suede material, and kente fabric. Yeah, with a fascinator on the head. Yeah, and I, I usually do these dresses. Someone can decide to order for the dress for a birthday party for a red carpet event or just for a shoot it's according it's about your money so and your choice so it's you to decide where you want to wear that dress what advice would you give to young girls out there that want to be like uh okay the girls out there if okay if you have something that you really want to do and you know yeah you can do it start up and do it at least you get a few people who believe in you and push you because you always have to start by one step and then you can move on because i also started by a small period not nice beginning but now i make really nice stuff so you can take every chance you have and believe in god that you can be who you want to be where are you located uh, uh for now i'm located in band but you can get my telephone numbers or find me on instagram uh, by the handle of Peace Angel Stitches by Peace Angela 256. And yeah, there are my telephone numbers. My WhatsApp number is 070 14 26601. And when you inbox me, please remember to tell me that you're there for business. Yeah. <laughs> are you are you are you married? <laughs> no, I'm not married. Single. Uh, why don't I get that priority? That was peace for you, a student from Chambogo University, trying to do her best to make her life go better. You can also be like her. My name is Fifi. You're watching Galaxy TV.